we're reseeding the guide in this case so that we can actually place the implant through the guide. The master sleeve that you see in the guide allows us to truly have guided implant placement. What you see here is a 9mm implant holder on top of the 4.5 Astra Osseospeed implant. You can see that complex here attached to my hand, my hand piece and we're actually going to be inserting this implant at a torque of 25 newton centimeters with heavy or copious irrigation. There is a stopper that's built into the implant holder. Once the implant has been placed to the perfect depth, there's a quick release that allows me to disengage the handpiece from the implant complex. At this point, I can unscrew the implant holder to the implant. This is absolutely critical. Otherwise, if a surgeon were to try or attempt to remove this surgical guide, the implant would come out with it. Once the screw is released, uh, a key is used to back out the screw completely so that I have access to the screw hole of the implant holder. And once the screw is removed, there's actually an implant holder removal tool. That's what you see here. This tool is threaded clockwise into the implant itself. In doing so, it releases the implant holder from the implant, which disengages the surgical guide from the whole complex. This allows us to safely remove the implant guide without dislodging or disrupting the implant that was just placed. At this point, the surgical guide can be removed. The site can be irrigated and flushed. You can see that uh, it's a, an aseptic technique and uh, quite bloodless. Minimally invasive, if you ask me. You can see that the tissue punch, because of the profile of the gingiva, has created an ideal zenith. This zenith would uh, essentially allow us to create the uh, ideal or optimal aesthetics in terms of emergence profile.